All right, I'm probably going to do this incorrectly, but I'm going to show you anyway. This is how to uh, install a battery into a 2003 Hyundai Accent base model. I've got uh, the posts on these all dielectric grease scooped up, um, including this thingy and the inside of that thingy, and of course um, that connector. I don't want the uh, this connector to accidentally uh, make contact with the thing while I'm installing it, so I realize that this isn't enough to uh, keep the electricity from arcing, but it'll just, you know, be a um, better than nothing. Okay. All right, now that I've cleaned the old dielectric grease off my hands, all right, I'm going to heft the battery in there so you're not going to be able to see that. Um, something I should mention is that there's this thing which hooks underneath this thing. Okay, so now that that's in there and uh, you know it's hooked underneath that part, I'm going to do this post. So put that cap on there, the little hat. And I'm going to screw this into uh, this thing. Hold, please. Okay, it um, is a tight fit to get this onto this thing, but that's what it's gonna look like. I'm using a 10 millimeter uh, socket thingy, and I'm just going to ratchet that down. It takes a long time to do this. Eh, eh, you gotta use both hands, pretty much. Okay, so um, because this thing, the hat, um, that's got the screw on it, and this part is what has the nut on it. What it means is that you have to hold this thing somehow while you're screwing this uh, clockwise. Um, otherwise, this is just going to spin. See how they're both moving together? So you got to hold this and screw this. And unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do that with just your fingers. So you've got to use like um, needle nose pliers to hold it in place. And screwing it is fine, like, uh, you know, because that's just how it works. I have to periodically uh, just record nothing because otherwise my camera will turn off. Okay, um, also try to push down on it, you know, while you're turning it. So now we're just going to put the cap back on. It kind of sort of snaps into place a little. You know, it's just to keep water out and stuff. All right, so now I'm going to do this part, which um, because of the risk of electric shock, I'm going to have to do this, you know, uh, two-handed and put down the camera. Pretty, but pretty much what you're going to do is um, use the needle nose pliers or just, you know, force this down. Um, you know, you want to have enough room to where it's expanding to fit over the thing, and then you're just going to screw it in place. I will be able to show you the screwing in place, but not really the uh, fitting the thing onto the other thing. Okay, so you're going to hear a little bit of static, you know, a um, little bit of electric noise, like, you know, bzz, like when you're connecting it. It's not really loud, it's just like, you know, a little bit of crackling. Um, but yeah. Uh, obviously, if it starts like just making a lot of noise or arcing or anything, you might want to consider stopping. So now I'm going to screw this into place using the wrong tool. I'm sure there's a uh, deep socket thing that you can use to screw that into place. But I don't want to go look in my um, bin to see if I've got one of those that matches this. I'm just going to use uh, pliers, as I said, the wrong tools. Cool, so now that I've got it tightened down, um, it's done. Uh, don't over tighten it, you know. This thing isn't budging and I've just like pretty much gently screwed it into place. Uh, yeah, video's over. No, I'm not going to test it.